All right, YouTube, we're back in the garage uh, with my aerial rider Kepler, and uh, we want to answer the question about how much bigger this bike is and how do you mount this bike compared to, say, my regular cruising mountain bike here. So I'm going to demonstrate, you know, this kind of frame. You can kind of see it's actually about the same size as the Kepler. Uh, my seat's actually a little bit higher here, and I'm going to demonstrate getting on both the bikes. So with my regular mountain bike, I can swing my leg over and I'm 5'9 and uh, sit relatively comfortable here. The bar here is up to my inseam, but getting on it, again, not too difficult. I do have to point my toe uh, when I'm in a stoplight, but this is a pretty comfortable riding position. If I need to get off, I can kind of do this one leg, one up. Uh, it's pretty comfortable sitting like this. So. It's kind of what I expected uh, when I got on the Kepler, but let's uh, try that and see how the riding position and the, the dismounting position uh, is different. So yeah, obviously I can just swing my leg over here, no problem. Move this bike out of the way, and then we're gonna come over to the Kepler. So you can see that I've put the rack on the back, so that's uh, affecting uh, my ability to swing my leg over. So let's try the, the leg swing, see how that works. So I've got to get a lot higher and then come over. When I'm sitting here, this is actually quite a bit higher than my mountain bike. This comes higher up into my inseam. This is not a comfortable position at a light. Uh, once I'm on it, again, I got my seat a little bit lower uh on the bike this is very comfortable uh sitting like this um but you know if i need to you know stop again i'm pointing my toe i actually feel like i point my toe a little bit more than on the other mountain bike uh but yeah it's you know this position i think that it feels a little more constricting uh on your inseam and then to get off again i don't swing swing my leg it's just it's too too far of a swing so normally my mount uh if i don't have a curve is to lean it over like this to get off that way and go on like this so yeah my normal mount on the bike is lean step through and then get up like this and then use throttle to to take off but yeah if i i try to do this sometimes I always am hitting my leg on that basket. So maybe for you guys, if you don't have a basket, it's easier to get over. But yeah, this may be lower than a mountain bike, but you're really sitting about here uh, when you're on it. You know, if I were to do things differently, I probably would have gotten a low step. Still very happy with it. But yeah, if there's a curb there, uh, I always use that to, to mount uh, the bike. So let me simulate that. All right, we're back with our curb simulator, which is this stool. So I'm gonna simulate my preferred method of getting on the Kepler uh, when there is a curb uh, nearby. I'll just step on the curb with my left foot, hop on like that, and then boom, I'm ready to go. Use the throttle to take off. And uh, yeah, it's super easy that way. I'm in a comfortable riding position, uh, getting on it, getting off of it. Uh, so yeah, that's my preferred to get off if there's a curb there again just same dismount boom lift the leg over kickstand done so that's the way i like to to get on and off and uh, hopefully this answers a lot of your questions about the size of the bike again i'm five nine uh and uh yeah just uh it's it sits a little bit higher in the front i'll bring the the other bike up again um get our Step. You can see the, the difference again. This is quite a bit higher than on this and you do sit here so it does feel like it comes up a little bit higher. So that's all I got. Hope you enjoy it.